Hi, my given name is Black, my family name is Tavius, and I'm teaching you guys how to download the Super Hot mod today. So, the actual mod itself is pretty simple. You really just have to download a zip file and then click on a bat. But there are a few different prerequisites that you're going to need to actually get yourself going. So, first off, down in the description, I put a few links as to how to hex edit your game. If you've never done that before, go ahead and go down there. If you have, then you're set to go on to the next step. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is there is a link in the description for plugin loader created by Cody Code. Um, so basically what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna head over there and once you click the link, you're gonna hit release 1.2. You're gonna download draw.dll. Once you have that, you're gonna wanna navigate over to your plugins folder in Borderlands 2. Now this works for Borderlands the pre-sequel and Borderlands 2, so depending on which one you actually uh, want the super hot mod to work on if you want it to work on both you basically are doing the same thing so if you can't find your plugins folder you're gonna locate your steam folder and then you click on steam apps then common borderlands 2 binaries windows 32 and you're just gonna dump draw.dll in there and then you're gonna want to create a plugins folder this is in windows 32 once again here's the path so you want to right click new folder and then you're going to have plugins all right you're not going to have this folder originally so you have to make it and then you just want to go ahead open that up and then we'll move on to the next step down in the description you guessed it there's another link for command injector also made by cody code dude's a genius and once you click on that you're going to end up at this page here and you're just going to go ahead click on command injector.zip download and then once you download it i already have it downloaded here you're going to want to open it up and you're going to have command injector TPS and command injector DLL. Again, if you're doing this in TPS, you're going to use the TPS one. If you're doing it in Borderlands 2, you're just going to use the reg regular version. Go ahead, drag it down to your plugins folder. This is the directory for the millionth time. And then you're going to go ahead and close that up. And you're essentially going to be done downloading prerequisite stuff. Now we're going to move on to the Borderlands super hot mod itself and go ahead navigate over to the page link is in the description click on superhot.zip and download you're gonna backtrack real quick here for a second if you guys want this in text there is a whole installation process down here okay so back to superhot.zip we're gonna show it in the folder right and then we are going to open it so once you open it you're gonna have just a regular folder that says superhot on it so let's make a new folder on our desktop, call it folder 11 for lack of better name. And go ahead, drag over super hot. So when you run this, all right, excuse my dirty desktop, um, it's gonna open up two different tabs here. Uh, it's probably, yeah, I probably stuck a virus in super hot, so just run it anyway. Um, so once you open it up, you're going to see these two consoles. This is normal. You can tell when I left click, it says shoot. When I'm moving around, it says I'm moving. So you can tell that it's actually grabbing keyboard input. So next, we just got to boot up the game and see if it actually works. So I'll see you guys in one second here when we boot up the game. All right, so we're in game now. And once you open Super Hot, you're going to see two different bat files. So you're going to see normal balance and one shot. So the difference between these two is essentially they both have the Super Hot mechanics to them. But normal balance has normal scaling. So you're going to do the same amount of damage and enemies are going to do the same amount of damage to you. One shot, however, means that you are going to one shot basically everything. And enemies are going to one shot you based on if you're above health gate or not. So it's going to be about a one or two shot based on your health. One shot does have two issues that I found through playing it a little bit. Um, the first one is in Tundra Express when you're killing Bard Kids. You're not going to be able to do that quest if it's on one shot mode. So you're going to have to change the scaling back to normal just for that one quest. And then the other one is that Bloodwing is invincible. So once again, you're just going to have to turn it back to normal mode for killing Bloodwing. Other than that, though, everything works pretty well. Uh, it is worth noting that you cannot change the balance unless you are in the title screen. So don't go thinking that you can go all the way through Wildlife Preserve and then change the scaling right before Bloodwing and then figure out that he's invincible. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click one of these. We'll click normal balance for right now. These two tabs are going to come up once again. We can see that everything's working if i close this you can see we're turning in the background and then as soon as i start moving everything's moving at same speed i let it go things slow down 
So let's go ahead and jump into the game and actually uh, test this for real. So we're jumping, we're jumping, we're not moving anymore. Things are stopped. So one thing at this at this point, you're pretty much done downloading everything and everything works. But when you're closing out of these tabs and you are in slow motion, you're going to run to an issue where sometimes you just continue in slow motion, even though it's not running anymore. So to fix that, what you're going to do is go into the console, go ahead and type in set world info time dilation 1.00. And once you do that, it's going to go ahead and move everything normal speed. I'll go ahead and put the command down in the description. And while we're talking about descriptions, make sure if you have any frequently asked questions or questions that are not on the list on GitHub to go ahead, join the discord and ask me about it. Ask me about bugs that you may encounter. Ask me about things that you may think are better to add, little tweaks, stuff like that. I love to hear it. Uh, special thanks to all of the people who helped me out on this mod along the way. Uh, Mopey, Dark Hell, Cody Code, and Scared Kid. You guys are awesome. I love you forever. And that's about it for the mod, guys. That should work for you. If it doesn't, uh, hit me up. Discord's the easiest place to find me. And yeah, have a great day. I'll see you guys when I see you. Peace.